Good morning, YouTube. It is 3.55 on this Monday. Uh, it's the start of the week again. Hope you had a good weekend. Um, today's topic is uh, touchable holograms. <laughs> Way too early. Or that Higgs chromosome space the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum of receptors radiation are mathematics a solution asteroid what am i doing up so holograms um i think a lot of people recognize holograms um in in its various forms either uh, you project something on the wall or you project something into like steam or smoke or you look at something and it looks sort of like it's 3D-ish. Um, but in all these cases, um, you know, all, all, all these things, they you have to project a sort of a, an image onto. Uh, and so in order, in order to, to have a touchable hologram, um, first you need to tackle a hologram that's not projected onto a surface because you know touching that you're really just touching the surface so uh, a few years back there's a, a Japanese uh, group of researchers <sighs> um, and they they indeed figured out how to get a hologram that was not projected onto a surface um, and then later uh, just recently they figured out how to get that uh, hologram that's not projected onto a surface to to have a certain feel when you touch it um, <laughs> so how, how do they do that so so let's talk about how they figured out um, the, the getting a hologram that's not on a surface. So what they have is um, they have sort of this projector um, and the projector shoots out laser. We're still dealing with lasers here, um, but it's it's laser that's not in the visible light realm. It's I think it's in infrared um, and it's a powerful laser. And what it does is uh, it shoots its image into 3D space, um, and what it does is it 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 hits. So whatever image that it wants, it, it sort of hits um, that section of 3D space uh, with these intense infrared lasers, and the infrared lasers adds enough energy. To the air at that point to uh, create a plasma and then um, the the air molecules that have turned plasma give off energy give off light basically and so what you have here is you have a 3d image um, constantly produced and when you look at it uh, it's not projected onto a screen or into um, steam or smoke or anything it's just right there because it's ionizing the gas ionizing um the the air right there and th those ions give off light and that's what you see um when you look at this image it's not it's not very uh detailed um and so the resolution is not very high um but but it is something that you can look at and see it um, and it's a 3d image and you're not projecting onto anything so now uh, so so they're still working on that they need to work on its resolution um, like I said it's not a very uh, concrete picture but it does work and you, you can generate various images as long as they're not uh, too detailed so I think the original intent was to um, be able to, to uh, create letters and therefore a warning sign. Um, so, so now let's go to touchable 
versions of that. Now, if you were to put your hand on that, uh, the laser is so intense that you'd basically burn your hand. <laughs> Uh, and you don't want to do that. That's not a good idea. And so what they had to do is they, again, they still wanted this 3D image that's not projected onto something um, and to make it touchable. Remember before we talked about how you could, uh, you could have a separate sensor or not a sensor, a separate emitter, an ultrasound emitter, and then you, you could touch um, basically the, it's the sound waves. Um, that give you that that tactile feeling, but that requires both a, a laser emitter and then an ultrasound emitter, um, and that's kind of bulky, right? That's that's doubling up on equipment. So what the same Jap group of Japanese researchers did is that they took these laser pulses uh, from this projector. Again, you'd burn your hand if you stuck your stuck your hand in the in those laser beams, the infrared laser beams. And so they, they made the laser um, shoot really fast, actually. So each of the laser pulses are, are like one billionth of one millionth of a second or something like that. Um, and the name for that kind of laser is... Uh, I forget the name. But essentially... You know, they, they keep the laser pulse short so that there isn't enough time to transfer enough energy to the skin should you put your hand in that laser. Um, it's like a femto, femtosecond laser or something like that. So if you keep the pulse short, there's not enough time, um, but you still, uh, with those laser pulses, when you put your hand in there, you you will feel it on your skin. Um, they, the people that have tried it said that it, it feels like, uh, when you, when you touch the image, it feels like sandpaper. Um, so let's say you project an image of a globe. Um, again, it won't look like a solid globe because the resolution of this thing isn't very, uh, very detailed, but if you were to touch that globe, it would feel like sandpaper. So what's going on there? <laughs> um, this time you're you're still ionizing gas. You're still creating a plasma, um, but when you touch that plasma, the plasma sort of gives off these shock waves. So what you're feeling is a shock wave induced induced by you touching the plasma. Um, so again, you're 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 providing enough energy into those air molecules. A, to emit light, and B, to emit a, a shock wave when you touch it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it, it's, it, it's kind of exciting um, because it's a step forward. Uh, it's still early on, so the image is not that great. You're, you know, we're not talking about like a, the hologram that you see on Star Wars or uh, what you imagine these other holograms might be in your head, you know, because... We've all thought about holograms and whatnot, or if you think of you know Star Trek and the the holodeck, it's not it's not that detailed, not yet. Um, but baby steps, we figured out the, the the way to do it, the physics behind how you would do it. Um, you know, we just we got to be careful, make sure it doesn't hurt people, and uh, slowly or quickly increase that resolution of the hologram so it looks better. So. There you have it. Touchable holograms using physics, using ionization uh, and shock waves. Um, yeah. All right. I got to head into work. Uh, you got to go do whatever it is you do. Ha <laughs> uh, We'll talk to you tomorrow.